honorees this year have each played an invaluable, pioneering role in developing American culture, wrote Kennedy Center President Deborah F. Rudder in a statement. The newest Kennedy Center Honors recipients have been revealed. On Thursday, July 18th, the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts named rock icons Grateful Dead, acclaimed singer-songwriter Bonnie Raitt, and legendary jazz trumpeter Arturo Sandoval among this year's honorees who will receive the 47th Kennedy Center Honors for Lifetime Artistic Achievements. Others being honored this year include Oscar-winning director and filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, 85, and the historic Apollo Theater. The Kennedy Center Honors recognizes artists who have made an extraordinary impact on the cultural life of our nation and continue to have an immeasurable influence on new generations, Kennedy Center Chairman David M. Rubenstein shared in a statement. President Deborah F. Rudder also added, our honorees this year have each played an invaluable, pioneering role in developing American culture, not with one act of art, but with their decades-long devotion to pushing creative boundaries. Giving flowers to the 2024 musical recipients, the chairman saluted the Grateful Dead for being a social and cultural phenomenon since 1965, adding, Grateful Dead's music has never stopped being a true American original while inspiring a fan culture like no other. It goes without saying that the Kennedy Center Honors represents the highest of reaches for artistic achievement. To be recognized alongside the artists who have in the past received this honor is beyond humbling. The remaining rockers Phil Lesh, 84, Mickey Hart, 80, Bill Kreutzmann, 78, and Bob Weir, 76, wrote in a collective statement. They added, The Grateful Dead has always been about community, creativity, and exploration in music and presentation. We've always felt that the music we make embodies and imparts something beyond the notes and phrases being played, and that is something we are privileged to share with all who are drawn to what we do. So it also must be said that our music belongs as much to our fans, the Deadheads, as it does to us. This honor, then, is as much theirs as ours. Acknowledging their almost 60-year journey, the musicians also said that they're beyond grateful for this recognition and concluded, thank you, Kennedy Center, and to all the folks who had a hand in bringing us here for this incredible honor. Turning to Rate, Rubenstein praised her legendary role as an ambassador of both music and humanity, while noting, she has made us love her again and again with her inimitable voice, slide guitar, and endless musical range encompassing blues, R&B, country rock, and folk. In return, the 10-time Grammy winner, 74, wrote, I am deeply honored and thrilled to have been chosen to receive one of this year's Kennedy Center honors. I have long been an admirer of the awards and have been so blessed to be able to participate in several shows honoring others. She added, There is no higher level of esteem nor as delightful a celebration, and I want to extend my sincere thanks to all who have chosen me to receive this honor. I look forward to the upcoming ceremony and festivities, which I know will be one of my life's peak experiences. Speaking on the brilliance of Sandoval, 74. Rubenstein also wrote, Arturo Sandoval transcended literal borders coming from Cuba 30 plus years ago and today continues to bridge cultures with his intoxicating blend of Afro Cuban rhythms and modern jazz. I am profoundly humbled and deeply honored to be selected as a recipient of the prestigious Kennedy Center Honors, the musician wrote in a statement. This recognition is an extraordinary milestone in my career and a testament to the support and encouragement I have received from my family, friends, colleagues, and fans. Throughout my journey, I have strived to create, perform, and inspire with passion and integrity, he continued. Being acknowledged by such an esteemed institution validates my efforts and motivates me to continue pushing the boundaries of my art. I 
am incredibly grateful to the Kennedy Center for this honor, and I look forward to contributing further to the vibrant cultural tapestry that the center celebrates and nurtures. Thank you once again for this incredible honor. In honor of its 90th anniversary, the Apollo, which Rubinstein lauded as one of the most consequential, influential institutions in history and Black entertainment, will receive a special Kennedy Center honors recognizing its immeasurable institutional impact nationwide and around the world. Throughout its history, the Apollo has guided us and the world forward by discovering and nurturing raw talent, molding a unique cultural identity that still defines American culture today, Rudder added of the renowned theater. Across Honors Weekend, artists with special connections to the Apollo will serve as ambassadors of the institution's legacy. We are thrilled to be the first organization honored in the history of the Kennedy Center Awards, emphasizing the Apollo's impact on the past, present, and future of American culture and the performing arts, Apollo Theater President and CEO Michelle Ebanks wrote in a statement. From the longest-running talent show in America with Amateur Night at the Apollo, which launched the careers of icons like Ella Fitzgerald and Lauren Hill, to performances from beloved legends like Smokey Robinson and Lil, Kim, and today's biggest stars like Drake, the Apollo has always been a home for artists to create and a home for audiences to see incredible music and art from legendary artists. The 47th Kennedy Center Honors will take place at the Kennedy Center Opera House in Washington, D.C. on Sunday, December 8th, and will later broadcast on CBS on December 23rd. The ceremony will also stream on Paramount+. Plus.